In this view, we will be demonstrating the dorsal decubitus abdomen. The dorsal decubitus abdomen should be performed with the patient lying supine, a 40 inch source to image distance, and a horizontal beam with no tube angulation. Our patient is on her back, which is supine. We are going to call this dorsal because the x-ray tube is now decubitus or horizontal. We have her on her back with the, the central ray at two inches above the iliac crest. Her left side is closer to the IR, so I've indicated that with a left marker. The patient will take in a very big deep breath. She's going to blow her breath all the way out. She's going to hold very still and the exposure is made. A diagnostic dorsal decubitus abdomen radiograph should be free of motion and rotation and include the domes of the diaphragm, the superimposed ilia, and pedicles of the lumbar spine. In this view, we will be demonstrating the left lateral decubitus abdomen. The left lateral decubitus abdomen should be performed with the patient lying with their left side down, 40 inch source to image distance, and a horizontal beam with no tube angulation. This is done for air fluid levels. The patient needs to be a minimum of five minutes laying in this position, but 10 to 20 is preferred. This is for the air and the fluid to separate. So you have a distinct air fluid level. My patient is on her left side. I have built her up with sponges so that she is higher than the level of the IR. I have indicated a right marker for the right side that is up in the air. We have used the central ray of the mid-sagittal plane and two inches above the iliac uh, crest. This will be taken on um, exhalation and we will have the patient hold very still. So patient, please take in a big deep breath. Blow your breath all the way out and stop breathing, hold your breath, and the exposure is taken. A left lateral decubitus abdominal radiograph should be free of motion and rotation for the purpose of diagnostic visualization of free air or fluid levels within the abdominal cavity. If you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to visit CloverLearning.com and explore our robust selection of video-based courses, certification exam prep question banks, and continuing education resources. Lastly, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on our latest videos.